We've talked about Russell Saunders coupling and how we can add up all the intrinsic spins to get a value uh, S total spin angular momentum and how we can add up all the orbital angular momentum of all the electrons to get a total L and how we can then couple the total sp intrinsic spin with the total orbital angular momentum and get a total value of angular momentum, a total angular momentum given the symbol J. So let's just actually say that. So we have S1, S2, these are all different electrons. This gives a total spin, intrinsic spin, capital S. And similarly, we have L1 for first electron, L2 for second electron, and so on. We added those up, and we get a total value of L. And then we interacted S and L to give a total value of the angular momentum J. So J, this is the one that's important when you have electrons. Now, chemists, because they want to make things extremely con confusing for undergraduates, have developed uh, term symbols. We just don't say S equal something, L equal something, J equal something. Instead, we use this symbol here. That symbol is 2S plus 1 L J. So this is a number. It's called the multiplicity. This is a number, and that's the particular value of J. And this is a letter, which is coded by, similar to the atomic symbols, if this is the value of L, this is the symbol. All right, so this is the value number. So when we add these up, we're going to get a number. If we get the number 0, we'll call this S, not to be confused with this S. <laughs> if, we call the, if we add up those and get 1, this will be called a capital P. Add those up and we get 2, uh, SPD, that'll be called a D, 3, F, Four, we'll call, we'll give that letter uh, G, and so on. So that's uh, the term. This is called a term symbol, and if you're given a term symbol, you should develop the ability to decode the term symbol. From the term symbol, you should get these three values: S, L, and J. I guess I've just summarized what's on this slide. So, for example, if S equal say one half and if L equals 0 and then J is equal to 1 half the term symbol there, so instead of just writing these, the chemists have developed 2 times 1 half plus 1 alright, this value of L will be an S not to be confused with that S and the value of J will be 1 half, or in other words the term symbol here will be 2 S 1 half. Okay, let's go the other way Let's go from a term symbol to the values of S, L, and J. Suppose we have this term symbol 2, P, 3 halves. What are the values of S and L and J? 2, uh, two, two S plus 1 is 2, so this implies that the value of S has to be 1 half. The P capital P implies that big L is equal to 1 and this term is easy, the 3 halves, this is just what the value of implies J is equal to 3 halves. So she know how to go from these values to a term symbol and how to go from a term symbol to the values of S, L, and J. A little bit of nomenclature, if 2S plus 1 is equal to 1, that is to say the total spin is 0, this is called a singlet state. If uh, 2s plus 1 is 2, that means s is equal to 1 half. That's called a doublet. And if 2s plus 1 is equal to 3, in other words, if s is equal to 1, that's called a triplet, etc., etc., etc. Let's just see what it means to have a singlet, a doublet, or a triplet. Suppose you have, we'll do these for electrons, so m sub s is plus one half, and you have another electron, m sub s equal plus one half. You add these up, you get a total value s equal one, and this means you have a triplet. On the other hand, suppose you have m sub s equal 
one half, but here you have m sub s equal minus one half. The total s here will be zero, so this will be a singlet. So if you have two electrons, a triplet means that they have the same value of m sub s, and a singlet means you have opposite values of m sub s. That's what a singlet triplet. Suppose you just have a single electron, so you have one electron. The value here, m sub s, will be plus or minus one half, but uh, s, big s, little s is equal to one half, but there's only one of them, so this means s is equal to one half. 2s plus one is, this is a doublet. So a doublet uh, can be just a single electron, and a singlet or triplet can be two electrons, either pointing in the same way for a triplet or pointing into opposite directions for a singlet. Okay, so those are term symbols. It just is a way to codify the value of S and L and J that we get by Russell Saunders coupling. Note that if you're looking at J-J coupling, the strong coupling, then the term symbols don't apply because you don't have a big value of S and a big value of L. But this only works for Russell Saunders coupling the term symbols. There's another set of term symbols if you have the more strong coupling case J-J.